Hey YouTube, Shuffle Does here again doing another video. This time I am showing you the file set I bought off of Amazon. This is a Backridge Tough brand off of Amazon. I bought it for $15.95. This comes with uh, three round files, all standard sizes, the depth gauge, the filing guide, a wood handle, and the nice little pouch to keep it all in to keep you organized. This file set also comes with a flat file. Not all file sets like this come with that extra one, but it's definitely a good one to have as you start sharpening your chainsaws more and more. You need to hit other parts on that tooth to knock it down. So as you see, as I begin to set this up, there's a couple of thumb screws on the guide that holds the round files. Pretty straightforward, slide it in, tighten them up, and that handle just goes on the tapered end of the file. Ideally, before you start filing, you want to clamp your bar into something so it's solid. If you have a big enough chainsaw, big enough bar, sometimes it'll just sit there nice for you as you begin to file. But you really want to focus on the long strokes with that file, keeping the angle that's depicted on the gauge um, true to the bar so that you're filing the tooth in the correct angle. So just work your way down each tooth on the chain and again focus on that long stroke from end to end on the round file. Count the number of strokes you're doing. And ideally, you will be doing the same number of passes on each tooth. Um, what I always like to check is to see if it has that uh, little barb on the end that you can just grab some skin with as you just poke at it. So after you've started to do this a few times, you get in a pretty good rhythm of counting number of strokes, sliding the chain down, getting to the next one, and just one after the other after the other. So by no means am I a professional logger or chainsaw chain sharpener, but these are techniques that I've kind of developed and it works for me. It definitely gets the chain sharper. Uh, milling some long slabs with this. Uh, after the second or third slab, you'll notice it's dull. Using these techniques, I've been able to get it sharp enough to where it cuts pretty close to new. And the more you cut, the more you got to sharpen, so the more you're, you'll get better at it. Well, YouTube, thanks again for watching. Again, these are my techniques that I use. I've found it to be very helpful. Uh, other people have found this video to be helpful. Please like it and subscribe. Thanks again.